everyone this is Draco Evolve back yet again with some latest Manchester United news transfer news and speculation and as always guys have a, I hope you guys are enjoying the weather wherever you might be I'm from the UK and it is scorching I think we reached a height of almost 40 degrees today and man uh, it, it was hot it's very hot it's too hot I think we are not used to this but anyway guys um, as always, the way I start off with the video is picking a comment from my previous upload, which was a few days ago, which was two days ago. I, I didn't upload yesterday because I went out and I kind of enjoyed the weather, had a nice day off, and I thought the transfer news at the moment is, is such a yo-yo system, especially when it's concerning Manchester United. And you know what? There was nothing. Luckily, there was nothing much new to report apart from uh, speculation. The same ones getting rehashed over and over again. Uh, but as you guys know, let's let's drop the boring stuff. As you guys know, I have been recently monetized, so it's all thanks to you guys. It's all thanks to you guys. So you will go into my videos, my channel. There will be ads there, and it is something that you know I've been working towards. And I wouldn't have done it without you guys. It's as simple as that. You know, I can't thank you guys enough, and thank you so much for continuously supporting me continuously helping me improve because I look at all your feedbacks whether it's good or bad I look at it and I take it on board and if I can implement it I will implement it but as always guys the comment is slightly different today and I felt this is an important comment that I should address it before we get into the today's latest transfer news which we'll be covering uh, Musa Dembele um, Ericsson and Toby Alderwild 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 Toby I'm gonna call him Toby um, before we start that main subject, I'm going to pick a comment and this is an important comment. I think everyone should take note. So the comment says from Drexel, thank you so much buddy for firstly coming in and let alone commenting. I really appreciate that and you have been one of the guys that's been supporting me for a very long time now. He says, are you transforming your channel to a pure soccer aka football channel? This is a topic where I can't join the conversation. So I'm going to put it straight to you guys this is still a gaming and a football channel it's as simple as that when i say football channel it's about manchester united because the two things in my life that i enjoy doing the most in terms of my hobby you know i have a lot of hobbies but these two things are the ones that keeps me sane is gaming and football and that's what this channel is based around gaming and football if you go back to my previous last few months you'll see a lot more gaming content coming out on almost every few days and obviously the football matches I did it on the go and there's match days which was every few days there wasn't much to cover but this as you guys know I have been doing a lot of football videos the last few weeks and it's not to say I am transforming my channel to pure football even though I've got a lot of success from it thanks to you guys I just want to clarify that this for those of you who don't know this month since June July and a bit, a bit around August is an very important month in terms of transfers and last year I couldn't cover it because I literally just started out my restarted my YouTube channel around this time last year I didn't have the equipment to cover so many things in my channel once so I started off with with gaming which was already easy enough for me because I played a lot of games I play a lot of games and um, I've kind of like got my season ticket for Manchester United and I went around matches which there, there are in my playlist you can see the vlogs that I've done down there but I thought this season I'm going to go full on in terms of tactical analysis, in terms of football match reviews and previews and as well as covering the transfers because we all know we've got a couple of weeks left. Transfer news is so important for us, especially for Manchester United, especially in our current time. And that's why I feel like I'm, my focus right now is purely on transfers, getting the news out to you guys, taking my uh, insights, taking my thoughts. And so to answer your question, Drexel, and to anyone that's coming in that's been subscribed to me previously there is going to be a balance of both going forward as soon as the transfer window shuts which is in a couple of weeks time i won't have many transfer news to cover because everyone's going to be starting the season it's going to be more the vlogs the manchester United vlogs which is once a week you know match previews and reviews because we play roughly once a week or once every two weeks or even twice a week at max so that will be coming as well and I'll be focusing a lot more on gaming. In terms of gaming, I've taken a backseat because I'm rethinking my strategy, what sort of content I should be bringing you guys, which will come out in the next couple of weeks. So 
just a heads up this is a football and a gaming channel at the moment the football content especially concerning manchester transfers are being covered a lot because of the transfer window but as soon as the transfer window shuts you can get back to a you know relevant cycle a, 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 a consistent cycle of some gaming some football especially concerning manchester United. i hope that answers your question drexel and many others who have recently or have previously subscribed to me because i've only done gaming content i haven't forgotten you guys and also in terms of gaming obviously i play a lot of fifa you've seen a little bit of live stream coming up there'll be a lot more going forward so i can combine both gaming and football in one because fifa is the game but anyways guys let's move on straight to today's news and today we are going to be talking about well, I'll be covering Musa Dembele. So apparently Sky Sports News understands, which has been, they have been the most reliable, reliable, funnily enough, outlet compared to the rest of the news uh, outlets out there. Because they got a few of them, right? They got long, um, Daniel James, right? They've got um, Lukaku's thing. They broke it first. Pogba, obviously, is, was a direct call. Uh, they got one Bissaka they were covering. So, you know, Sky Sports is quite relevant in this time around. But apparently, if we are to sell Lukaku, we will be replacing him with Musa Dembele, the former Celtic and Fulham forward. He's only 23. He is an out and out number nine, so he's a proper, proper striker. And he, let me just, let me just read you. He scored 20 goals for Leon last season. I'll take that. Brilliant, brilliant stuff, you know, compared to what we kind of output in last season. I think we need a goal scorer. Um, but I'll read you a bit around what he said. United are willing to sell Lukaku but rejected a bid of £54 million from Inter Milan last week with the Premier League Cup valuing him at more than £79 million. So the talks around Lukaku is at a stalemate. So let's leave at that. And apparently we have um, kind of targeted uh, Musa Dembele if Lukaku leaves. We need to replace him, obviously. Um, for me personally, I would say no. You know, as much as I would like to have someone experienced compared to what we have, yes, definitely, I would love to have him. But you look at the preseason, and you look at people like Mason Greenwood, um, Tai Chong, and Gil Gomez who scored today. Um, they're performing. If you look at our stats over the the whole preseason, the four games we played, all our goals were either assisted or scored by academy players. That shows you've got Ghana going in the goal, you've got Mason Greenwood, you've got Angel Gomez, you've got Pereira assisting. And I think with the striker's position, I reckon we should stick with what we have. I mean, there are other pressing, more pressing concerns in terms of central midfield and defender. But that's my thoughts around it. I, I will not be angry at this signing, but I'll be slightly concerned because he's 23. He's clearly going to take one of the other guys' spots, right? You've got Rashford Martial, yeah? Lukaku's gone. Pretend Lukaku's gone. Sanchez, I don't rate that much. But you've got Rashford Marshall, who's young. He's got years ahead of him. But surely you'll have an understudy. You're not going to have understudy of Dembele, who is 23. He's not really an understudy. He's almost the same age as these guys. In fact, I think older. So he's, he's going to be coming in and taking the spots of the youngsters. Uh, as in Angel Gomez or Mason Greenwood. I think we should rotate these guys around. And that, but that, that's my thought around it. Let me know your thoughts. I haven't seen Musa Dembele. I've heard a lot about him throughout the season. 20 goals is a decent return for an out and out number nine. Let me know if he's good to be a United fan, United fan, United player. Let me know in the comments. Do you feel he, we should go for him or should we stick it out, especially in the striking position with the youngsters? But anyway, guys, moving on to the second news of the day, which is Toby Alderweireld. So obviously he's a Spurs defender. He is, I believe, almost 28, 29, 30, one of those bracket. So apparently, when he signed for Spurs, he signed a four-year contract with an option to extend for another year. Spurs have extended that contract last January to next year. In that clause, it says that he has a release clause of £25 million and it expires tonight. So tonight, I believe it expires. Let me just double check. So, oh, sorry. The, the clause runs until the final two weeks of current market. So the club will have time to find a replacement should Aldo will leave. So it expires in the next couple of weeks. But I've been reading reports that he expired actually tonight. But anyway, guys, regardless, £25 million pound for Toby Alderworld. I'll go for him. It's as simple as that. 
Uh, yes, you want Maguire, that's fair play. But get Toby Alderweireld, he's give him a couple of years, he's not going to cost that much. 25 million pounds in today's market is a steal and we need defenders if if we can ship. Because Bailly is out now, God knows what happened. Um, he's in, got injured in today's preseason friendly and I don't know how long he's going to be out for. Rojo is, is a surplus to requirement, Phil Jones is all over the place. Really, the only one that we can remotely trust is Lindelof and Smalling and they are not good enough. Lindelof case, he can improve but Smalling case, he's not good enough. So signing Maguire to plug the gap is okay. You got Axel to, to Nzebi there as well. But obviously Toby Alderweireld coming in for a few seasons will help develop or take off a lot of pressure from the youngsters such as Axel and Lindelof. Let's face it, Lindelof is still young, still learning the trade. But yeah, why not? Why not give him a punt? He's, he's an imposing figure. He's a leader. He's experienced. He knows the league. Makes sense. And for £25 million, pound, especially in today's market, it's an absolute steal. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about Toby? Do you think we should go for him? If we go for him, who do you think will be sacrificed for him? Aside from the usual, aside from Rojo, because we all know Rojo probably leaves, hopefully leaves, by his injured. On to today's last news. So it's in regards to Ericsson. Apparently, so Ericsson's contract expires next year. He's not willing to sign a contract, which means for next year he can go for free. He's only 27. He's a playmaker. He's still yet to hit. Playmakers peak are normally around this age. Okay, Tottenham are apparently looking to allow him to leave for around £70 million this summer. £70 million has been quoted every, I don't know why. Yes, Daniel Levy is probably hard. He is well known. Tottenham's chairman is the hardest person to negotiate with. He's probably not going to accept a cut price. But if we can get a cut price of, of that, that would be brilliant. Imagine having Ericsson. You know, Pogba can go. Pogba can go. Ericsson is a better player. And with things around Bruno Fernandes going up and down, I don't know about that. You know, we need a central midfielder. And someone like him is clearly in the market. He's clearly available. He's got a year left in his contract. Poach him. Go in poaching. Test Tottenham's resolve. Test his resolve. Test his agent's resolve. Plant things on him. I would love to take him. Probably not for £70 million considering the fact that his contract expires next summer. Because if we wait out 5-6 months, we can get him for free. Literally, we can sign him a pre-contract agreement in January. But I say go for him next summer if you're going to get someone like Bruno Fernandes in this summer. If you're not going to get Bruno Fernandes in this summer, we need a central midfielder. Go for him. It's as simple as that. Maybe look, to, look for Bruno Fernandes next summer. Bruno Fernandes, God knows. God knows what's happening. I'm not going to even talk about it. Let's just forget about it for the time being. I've covered it enough, I think. I think you guys are bored of it. But £70 million, one year left to contract. I'm sure hopefully we can negotiate something with Daniel Levy, even though he's tough. Get him. He'll be fantastic. He will transform our midfield like that. He is a world-class signing. He will walk into any midfield in the world. Real Madrid's midfield, they've got Cruz, Modric and Casemiro. Modric is 33. He's getting a bit out there. Cruz is declining. He's not. He will definitely take over Madrid's midfield. 100%. Liverpool, again, 100% he'll take over their midfield. Um, Man City, maybe. Not sure because they got uh, in that advanced position, they got De Bruyne, David Silva, and, you, you know, they, they're quite good. So maybe not Man City, maybe 50-50, but he can give them a challenge. 100%. David Silva is, is very old. He's gonna, he's not, his, his contract is running out as well. So he will definitely fit in, I reckon. Barcelona, 100%. He'll, he'll go slot in. So what are we waiting for? He will slot into any Europe elite team, in my opinion. And if he's available for free next summer, I'm sure Spurs are going to be looking to cash in on him. And I reckon we should just go for him. We should just go, especially if we're messing around. My, my heart says I, I want this player, but my brain says with Woodward in charge, it's not going to happen. Because we're taking so long, it's two weeks ago. Uh, I will kind of do a transfer review video but on, as soon as the window shuts, so watch out for that. Um, hopefully by then we'll sign a few players, hopefully a, definitely a centre-back, Maguire, uh, hopefully um, a definite midfielder, whether it's Bruno Fernandes or Eriksen or, or even Savage that's been lying around. We need two midfielders, because if you look at our midfielders, it's Pogba, which is 50-50, he might go, Matic is gone, Fred is still up and down 50-50, McTominay is still young, Pereira is still 50-50. That's, that's our midfield, guys, that's our central midfielders. You tell me, Pogba's the only player that, that is good enough. The rest of them are not good enough yet in some cases. So someone coming in in that caliber, whether it's Bruno Fernandes or Eriksen, will definitely add depth and definitely add quality. That strikers, no matter what strikers we get, we will not be scoring if they don't get the supply. 
It's as simple as that. But anyway, guys, that's my li little sort of rant. Uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Again, guys, get commenting. You know how it works by now. Get commenting, and we'll we'll pick up. Oh well, I'll pick up a comment tomorrow video and um, discuss it. And uh, as always, stay farafari.